Hey, St. Louis Church men, I want to talk about two things from this weekend's message. Uh, the first is really about this idea of secrecy. And so we talked a lot about secrecy and what's hidden beneath the surface. And I was thinking for a lot of men, I think a lot of us fear intimacy. We fear a deep connection because it's uncomfortable. We didn't have it with our dad. Um, maybe we don't want to appear weak or needy. Um, I, I think there's a lot of reasons. And so we have a tendency to hide our real self uh, kind of behind the surface. And so Matt talked about this verse that our real life is hidden with Christ in God. And so a lot of things, our faith and everything that about us, our, our feelings, they all become private. And so we have this external self that's maybe confident or a hard worker, makes money, uh, talks about our hobbies, all those kind of things. And then there's this real self that has like feelings and emotions and they're not sure about if you're liked by others or um, maybe not confident. And it, it's hard to merge those two. It's hard to break through. And so one of the goals of groups, if you're in a group, is to kind of break through that barrier and reveal the real self, reveal our, our real self. And then also to make that more normal, that that's not just something that happens in group, that we can do that with our spouse or our kids or our other friendships. And uh, it's something that God wants us to do when he uh, helps us become real with ourselves, helps us be confident in who he says that we are, which is uh, his child, his son, his beloved, uh, that we can have confidence because of who he says we are, that we're secure in him, our identity is in him. And then we live out of that confidence. We, we project our real self outwardly because we know we're secure with God. And so uh, I think a great thing to talk about for some of you guys in group is, man, I, I just hide most of my life. Most people don't know the real things about me. They don't know what makes me tick. They don't know uh, what I'm scared of. They don't know how I'm really feeling. They don't even, don't even know what my relationship with God is like. And many of you probably struggle with intimacy with your spouse because of that, or with your friends if you're not married, or whoever it is that you interact with. So I want to encourage you to to kind of lift the lid and and share some things, take a step of faith. Because in my experience, when I've done this and when I've watched others do it, most of the time it goes well, especially when you're in a group environment where you can, it's expected that you're going to be real. And if you're not in a group, man, I want to encourage you, you got to get in a group. This is the way to grow your faith and to make it real is to start talking about it and, and having those challenges to take next steps. Uh, the second thing I want to talk about is uh, how Matt ended the message, which is this idea of surrender. And for me, um, man, I was the little guy growing up. And so my buddies and I, you know, we, we wrestle or something like that. And I'm always trying to take on the biggest guy. And I wouldn't win a lot, but I certainly wouldn't give up. That was like something that I, I would just like fight or kind of scrap and try to make my way. And what I've realized in life is that, um, and I think there's a good side to not surrendering, not giving up on things, but also when it comes to our faith, we're so used to like, I just push through, I work hard, I find a way, I don't give up. And then God asks us to surrender to him. And I think what we do is we hold on to that. There's got to be a way I can figure out how to make it work in my marriage. I can figure out how to parent my kids. I can figure it out with my job. Um, I can figure out how to fix this car or whatever it is. And so we fail to just surrender to Jesus and say, you know what? I, I can't do this on my own. I'm weak. I'm broken. I don't know the answer. I don't know how to fix this. And I need you to work in my life. And so most of us have an initial experience with God when we come to faith and we have this point of surrender where we realize I can't overcome my sin. I can't make it all right. I'm broken. I'm needy. I need Jesus. Jesus, would you come cleanse me? Would you change me? Um, would you give me a new heart? Because I can't do that on my own. And we start there, but then we at some point feel like, well, I should know better. I should be able to do this on my own. I know the right things. I know what scripture says, and I got to fix this and I got to make it right. And the, the walk of faith is actually constantly surrendering to God each and every day going, God, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what the answers are. I don't know how to be a real man. Would you show me? Would you walk with me? Would you change me? Would you help me to love uh, my kids, my boss, my wife, the people in my life, my friends with a Christ-like love? And so that's challenging for some of you. And so some of you maybe need to talk about that. W whatever it is, man, I want to encourage you to be open this week to really uh, lift the lid to what's underneath your secret life, what needs to be surrendered. One of those two items, go through the questions. There's some great questions in there. 
And uh, man, just keep pressing forward. God's doing a work and he wants to continue doing a work. Um, also, you're going to hear more information about this, but I'm just going to put a plug in. We're going to be doing an online men's conference. It's going to be November 13th and 14th. Uh, it's it's going to be online, but it's actually going to be an unconference. So it's going to be not traditional. We're going to be asking people to do watch parties at campuses and in their groups. So there's more to come on that, but um, just plan on setting aside a chunk of time either on Friday night or on Saturday at some point to participate in the unconference, connect with other guys. Uh, so we're really excited about it. Again, you'll be hearing a lot more about that as we approach that date. Love you guys. Praying for you. Hope you have a great group this week. God bless.